to all our viewers, welcome to our today's self-talk. And for our today's topic, we want to look at emopsis. And I will start by defining what emopsis is. So emopsis is a medical word which refers to coughing up of blood from the lungs or even from the bronchial tubes. So if one coughs out blood, then that is referred to as emopsis. Now take note that emopsis may point out to a very serious medical illness. One who coughs out blood may be having a very serious underlying medical condition. And that is why this presentation needs to be taken with a lot of seriousness that it deserves. Now also take note that the emopsis may range from little flecks of blood or even large amounts of blood coughed out. Take note that there are several causes of emopsis, but for our today's presentation, we want to have a look at the top 20 causes of emopsis. And let's have a look at them one by one. Now the first leading cause of emopsis is referred to as pulmonary tuberculosis. And this is a very common condition. Now stay within the channel for our next video, we'll then be able to characterize pulmonary tuberculosis in great details. The other cause of hemoptysis is referred to as bronchiectasis, and bronchiectasis refers to irreversible damage of the airways. The next cause of hemoptysis is called bronchitis, which refers to infection of the bronchi or the bronchus, resulting into inflammation of the bronchus. The next cause of hemoptysis is called lung cancer, and lung cancer is also very common, especially among the cigarette smokers. The other cause of hemoptysis is pneumonia, which refers to the infection of the lung tissues, and this can be in form of either bacterial pneumonia, viral pneumonia, fungal pneumonia, or even parasitic pneumonia. The next cause of hemopsis is called chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, as seen in emphysema, among others. Other causes of hemopsis is referred to as congestive cardiac failure, or even congestive heart failure. The next cause of hemopsis is cocaine use, and this is common among the drug and substance abuse or people who inject themselves with drugs. The next cause of hemopsis is autoimmune diseases as seen in systemic lupus erythematosus, commonly referred to as SLE, or even the good pastures syndrome. The next cause of hemopsis is lung abscess and this is also very common. The next cause of hemopsis is benign lung tumors. These are more of non-cancerous growths or tumors within the lungs. The next cause of hemopsis is parasitic infestations as seen in one parasitic or pulmonary toxoplasmosis. We can have pulmonary leishmaniasis we can even have pulmonary malaria. We can also have what is referred to as the pulmonary amoebiasis. All those are conditions that are caused by parasitic infestations, particularly those of the lungs. The next cause of hemoptysis is called the pulmonary embolism, simply referred to as PE. And this is a dislodged blood clot that then, or a detached blood clot that then dislodged itself into the pulmonary area or within the lung um, area. The next cause of hemopsis refers to traumatic chest injuries as seen in accidents or even in gunshots. The next cause of hemopsis is the use of anticoagulants, for example, heparin, or even warfarin 
among others. The next cause of hemoptysis is referred to as endometriosis, and this is very common, particularly with the women. And endometriosis simply refers to growths of tissues similar to those of the uterus found outside the uterine lining. Now, other causes of hemoptysis refers to what we call the hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasis, and this, even though it's a very rare condition, but it do occur. Other causes of hemoptysis are collagen diseases as seen in sarcoidosis. Now, ladies and gentlemen, hemoptysis is a very serious medical illness or medical presentation, and whenever it occurs, such a client experiencing hemoptysis must be referred to the nearby health facility for quick medical intervention as soon as possible. If you are watching us for the very first time, kindly subscribe. And until next time, it's goodbye from all of us.